Okay, I'm going to get set up here to drill these quarter inch holes. One, and before I do anything else, I'm going to check to make sure that rod will fit in there. Yeah, that fits perfect. Okay, do the next one. You could see how the, it wanted to wander around there a little bit before I started. I actually should have center punched that. It would have made it a lot easier. So there's some burrs on the back here. On the back of this I'm going to go ahead and clean up with just a chamfer bit by hand. Got one in this little chuck here. So I'll just run that in there and it will clean up those burrs that the drill made. Okay, the next hole is going to be for this screw, so I'll find a uh, drill bit that's a little bigger than that. See, that's um, that's about. 185 thousandths, so anything 180 or so will make it. Got a 183 here, we'll use a 183. for a bit again. Okay, that goes through there good. Just a test fit here. So it'll end up like this. Okay, I'm going to have to drill a bigger hole now for that SO239 electrical connector. Oh, 
I'll go ahead and drill a pilot hole with the drill bit I've already got here. I'm going to have to use a bigger drill bit and this is going to want it twist on me. I don't want it pulling it out of my hand. This is about 0.6 inches. I got a step drill bit. Let me see if that'll work on this. I've used this once before, this step drill bit, and I've marked it here. I'm going to go ahead and darken this up because that's the depth I want to go down to so I don't make the hole too big. Okay, so I'll drill down to where that black mark goes into the hole. I'm not going to hit anything underneath there. Boy, that's close. I'm going to drill down, maybe up, not quite all the way, and see how it does. Pretty small drill press here trying to cut this thick metal. We got a bigger one in the garage, but I don't want that one there right now. over a little bit so I can miss that shaft. I don't want to drill into part of my vise here. That'll work. since this metal so thick. Now the, uh, the SO239 can go in there. Now I'm going to have to put four other little screw holes in here so I can uh, mount the SO239 on this plate. 
So I'm going to go ahead and mark these holes where they're located with this Sharpie. I'll have to determine what size screws to use. I'm going to use um, some 135, or excuse me, six 32 screws that are about 135 thousandths in diameter, and I'm going to use about 140 inch, 140 thousandths drill bit. So on this, I'm going to go ahead and center punch where I'm going to drill, and then I'll drill the four holes. And I'm just going to use screws with nuts on the back rather than tapping the holes, just make it simpler. I'm going to go ahead and chamfer the edges of these holes to get rid of the burrs. One other thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to drill a hole from the edge to each one of these holes, these bigger holes where the rod goes through to put a lock screw in there. So I'm going to figure out what size screws I need to use for that and drill some holes. Okay, I've got some uh, 1032 screws here. And my little chart shows I should use a uh, .159 drill bit, which I have. I'm going to go ahead and mount that in here. And I'm going to center punch where those holes have to start on the edge of this piece of metal. Now I've, I've got it marked. And I'm going to kind of eyeball where the center of the piece of metal is. It doesn't have to be super accurate. And I'm going to put this in this vise to keep everything nice and straight. I think I'm going to put a little oil on that drill bit. Thank you. 
there's two. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and move over to the vise and uh, put some threads with a tap in those holes. So there's the fixture. There's the two holes I just drilled. And we'll put some threads in there with a tap.